Hello everyone, my name is Ashley and um, thank you for tuning in for Dream, Believe, Achieve Strategies. Um, the topic of this um, live is about the importance of not being a crab in the bucket. Um, so before we get started, I just want to show you this cool shirt I got. It's called She Traders. It's a, a trading shirt that I got on DreamBelieveAchieveStrategies.com. Check it out. You can find all kinds of cool gear. So anyways, let's get into this. So. I'm a part of a, um, I joined a couple of forums on Facebook just talking about, you know, whether, you know, people, different trade strategies, uh, you know, different stocks that they're uh, interested in. And um, I had this unfortunate experience of like a crab in a bucket uh, 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 mentality, but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. So one of the forums I was asking about you know, how to understand how to do um, a long call uh, option and the theta and the delta and how it affects like expirations on stock. Needless to say, as I was inquiring, uh, the owner of the forum was like, why are you doing a live? Um, and um, also, you know, teaching about stocks and then also, uh, what do you call that? Um, inquiring about on the website and I said and, and you know I was talking to the owner and I was like um, you know I ask questions because I really want to know and also I believe in sharing the things that I know I'm not just gonna grow and profit and learn and not share with people you know I, I just don't believe in that I believe knowledge is power needless to say I removed myself from that group and uh, no longer, you know, subscribe to, you know, learning from them. But I mean, of course, there's multiple platforms. But I didn't let that stop me. So here's an, another example of uh, an opportunity to seize, to, to share your knowledge and then grow. So I was on a plane riding home uh, to see my family. And uh, a friend of mine had called asking about learning um, a situation with her stock. She was you know, executing it, but things wasn't working out. So I was just giving her some tips and pointers that helped me. And so like while I was doing that, um, uh, the lady and the gentleman sitting next to me on the plane uh, were listening and, and then that's okay, right? Uh, and so when I got off the phone, they were like, okay, so what do you do? And I was just like, you mean like for a living? And they was like, yeah. And so I told them, and then it was like, but I heard you talking about stock. I was like, oh, I, yeah, that's not my profession, but it's something that I learned about and that I do. So anyways, we get to talking, and uh, the lady that I was sitting with, she's actually into like research and strategies, but she doesn't do trading, but she's been wanting to do it, but she's just been kind of skeptical. So anyways, I started teaching her the things that I know. She's like, oh my God, I'm definitely gonna do this. Well, the guy listening, he said, hey, uh, what platform do you use? I said, Robinhood. He said, okay. He said, I use Ameritrade too. And then I was like, yeah, I prefer Robinhood. He was like, yeah, I prefer Ameritrade. Anyways, I go and look on there. I have Ameritrade downloaded. And this is what I want to share with you all. This is why it's important, you know, to make sure you, you know, just share with the people and don't try to hoard all the information that you learn. Like, because just as you are blessing someone else, someone else can be blessing you in the midst of it. So by me talking to them, I learned that I actually was missing out on a lot of money by dealing strictly with Robinhood. I have no issues with Robinhood. Robinhood is a great application, but as you begin to trade more and learn more, you'll realize that the limitations that Robinhood has can cost you thousands. And so what I learned is, is one thing is that execution. So I had an experience, which a lot of you will know that you experience this as well if you trade with Robinhood, that you'll submit a request to execute a trade, basically to 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 receive your profits from the trade, and your when you submit execute, it is a pending in the queue. So you can see that maybe say you have profit five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, or thousands of dollars, and it's saying pending, but you submitted it at that time that that option or call or stock was listed, and so you should receive that profit. Well, Robinhood, it says pending, pending. And by that time, the price has changed. And even like for my situation, the stock market closed. So I had 
thousands of dollars that I profit but was not able to execute and receive that money because it was pending in the queue. And so what I learned from that gentleman is, he said, with Ameritrade, it's not free. They charge you maybe like 65 cents per execution, but their execution is timely. And that is important because a lot of times we'll continue to use a platform or something we think because it's, it works, but it's always good to also explore if there's other things that can you know better benefit you. I will pay 65 cents for an execution if it's gonna allow me to receive my profits. You know, the reason I didn't initially use Ameritrade is because the web, the interface of it. When you go on a Robinhood application, it's easy. You see at the top how much you're investing, the stock, like it reads well. With Ameritrade, it's like, oh, it's a bunch of numbers going on. It's quite intimidating. You don't know what's what. And so it's like, I didn't really want to get into it. But now I'm going to force myself to learn about Ameritrade so I can make sure I can utilize that and get my profits that I need. The second thing is, is that I learned the differences is with Robin Hood and Ameritrade is that the contract prices are different. So for an example, I just looked this up today. So on Robin Hood, one contract for Amazon, and I know you guys are gonna be like, Amazon, Amazon is expensive. Okay, hear me out. Amazon's going for like $3,296, okay? Yeah, that's expensive. But on Robin Hood, for one contract, for one call that expires on October the 23rd, for one contract, which of course you all know is 100 shares, Robinhood charges $28,010. If you go to the same contract on Ameritrade, Ameritrade charges $8,995. Now one would say that's still expensive, but you think like the other contracts that you can explore, that's almost, almost three times the difference in charging. So yeah, you may have to pay 65 cent for Ameritrade, uh, but the contract is super cheaper. So you can, instead of getting one contract with Robinhood, you can get three contracts. So instead of having one, instead of having 100 shares with Amazon, you can have 300 shares. And let's do the numbers on that. If you have 300 shares and Robinhood jumps, we'll say, I mean, uh, Amazon jumps $10, 300 times 10, that's a significant difference than 100 times 10. So I just wanted to tune in to you all uh, today to let you all know, uh, consider exploring Ameritrade or another platform. I heard someone even say Schwab. And, um, you know, look into that. I'm actually going to be uh, looking into um, switching my investments or, you know, reloading my investments uh, to Ameritrade starting next week. Uh, so I don't miss out on my profits like I did before. I, I will continue to use Robinhood um, because I do have a lot of my money in that. But as I began to test out Ameritrade and I learned about Ameritrade, I do plan to switch to them. So moral of the story, do not be a crab in a bucket. Share your information. You never know um, who you're going to be, you know, blessing and also how you can be blessed. But at the end of the day, knowledge is power and you know somehow someone told you about some information um and because they wasn't selfish you're able to learn grow and profit and so i think and i know it's only right that others may be able to do that so uh, as you know dream believe achieve is about putting positive energy out into the atmosphere um, as well as um, helping people dreams come true and that's the moral of the story of this this uh business dream believe achieve strategies you know turning visions into profits. Thank you all. I hope you having a blessed and wonderful Sunday. Don't forget to check out Dream Believe Strategies uh, at uh, Dream Believe Achieve Strategies, excuse me, at www.dreambelieveachievestrategies.com. I also have a Facebook page. Thank you. Be blessed.